Sometimes terrible things happen, but when good people step up to right those wrongs, sometimes they can save a life. This dog was completely covered in glue and on the brink of death if help didn't arrive soon. When a call came into the sanctuary in Istanbul about a dog that looked to be in pretty bad shape, rescuers didn't hesitate. They went out to search for the pup, but couldn't find him straight away. They searched the area. It was an industrial area and there were plenty of places for a scared little dog to hide. Then came the person who called it in. They had seen two children pour glue on the dog, and then these concerned citizens intervened and chased the children off. They tried to help the dog, but he ran off and wouldn't let them help. He was freaking out even more as they tried to get near. That was when they knew that they needed experts to come in and help them. They phoned He Art of Rescue in Istanbul and hoped they would be able to assist. When the sanctuary confirmed that someone would come to help, the Good Samaritans decided to stick around and give the rescue center all the information that they had. They had seen in which direction the dog ran so they could help the rescuers find him. They showed the general direction and the researchers could get back to the search. They found him in a building quivering in a corner of a big room. By the time the glue had hardened, it had become almost like cement. The poor dog that would later be named Pascal could only move his tongue. It made it easy to pick him up and take him to the rescue center, but it still broke all of the rescuers' hearts to see the poor little guy looking like that. The people that saw him in the first place were sorry that they couldn't help quicker, but they were assured that they made a big difference by just phoning it in. Carrying him as gently as possible, they brought him to the rescue center and got the vet team to look at him. One of the veterinarians on his team, Hassan Akin, was especially touched by seeing this dog covered in a thick coat of glue. It made his coat look like rubber and had to feel horrible. He even had some twigs and sticks stuck inside the mess. There was no way that they would be able to get it all off. They had to shave his coat to relieve him from his pain. The chemicals burned his skin. After cutting off all the fur that they could, they still had to start bathing him with medicine. He would need treatment for months to get his skin healthy, and that was going to be expensive. But that was where this story started changing. At first, it could be a story that makes you lose your faith in humanity, but when people really needed to step up, they did. This makes it a story that restores your faith in humanity. The shelter shared the sad story of Pascal and people from all over the earth wanted to help him. They quickly had enough money for all of his medicine and his treatments, even after it was found that he also had canine parvovirus, a viral infection that can be serious in even healthy pups. But the dedicated team wasn't going to give up on him after all that he had been through. He would have weeks of treatment for the disease, but eventually he beat it. He would have the best opportunity that he could have to become healthy and recover. He would get treatment for the chemical burns, and he would have to stay at the shelter and heal. But what about emotionally? That might take longer even than the physical scars. He was scared of everyone, and it made sense. Even before the kids had hurt him, he had lived on the streets for what seemed to be his whole life. He must have had plenty of scary moments while on his own, and it showed. The vet team believed that Pascal was only around four months old at the time, and he was already so guarded, but they were determined that it would change. He wanted nothing to do with the rescuers. When he first got to the shelter, he didn't want them to touch him. Even in the exam room, he sat in one corner while they tried to feed him and get him to interact. He was having none of it. He checked them out, took the food they were offering, and then retreated to the smallest corner he could fit his body into. He wouldn't make eye contact with anyone either. Everyone tried their best, but time was going to be important. For him to see that these humans remained the same and that he was completely safe. At the same time, after he was healthy enough, he was allowed to play with some of the other shelter animals. But he didn't want to do that either. He wasn't being social and kept all the other animals at a distance until another little puppy got rescued at the shelter. 
This puppy had decided that he was going to be friends with Pascal, and there was not much he could do about it. He would snuggle up to Pascal even when he was laying on his own, and he would try to play with him. Staff members were shocked when Pascal not only allowed this behavior, but eventually started to seek out the puppy too. The first time he wagged his tail when seeing Dr. Akin was a huge win. Then he would start running up to him when he arrived. In the end, the two of them were buddies, and Pascal would be completely relaxed when Dr. Akin picked him up and cuddled with him. They became really close, and that was the breakthrough that the little dog needed. Because he started to trust one person, he realized that he could trust humans in general. He became relaxed around the other staff members of the shelter and became a lot more playful. He was turning into the happy puppy that he always deserved to be. Every little milestone was very emotional for the staff who saw him come back to life. Like the first time he had enough courage and confidence to play tug with some of the other dogs, they just knew that he was healing. He was a happy puppy and his fur had grown back and his skin healthy. It was time to find him his forever home. But letting go of Pascal wasn't going to be easy for anyone. The staff and Dr. Akim especially had become attached to the little dog. Dr. Akim had too many of his own pets already and it wouldn't be fair to Pascal to adopt him. He wouldn't get as much attention as he could from another family. They put him up for adoption. Since there were many people following his story, there were also a lot of people who wanted to adopt Pascal and give him a good home. They sorted through all of the applications and found him the perfect home. It was a couple with only one little dog. He would have a friend but still get a lot of attention. Saying goodbye to him was bittersweet for the shelter personnel, but they knew that this was the moment that they had been working towards. And then they recently received an update that they shared. His transformation story is going to make you cry. The pictures showed Pascal, who was no longer so little, running along the beach with his family. They had taken a vacation to Spain, and their two beloved dogs were with them as always. Pascal is a happy and healthy dog who was loved beyond anything he could ever imagine. He was running on the beach, living his best life. What a beautiful update to see this once hurt and shy dog now becoming so happy and free. A truly happy ending. Thanks for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.